Hi, my name is Michal Mayal, and I want to thank you for coming to Mastery Heart Meditations. Today it's going to be about the pain body. We get a lot of pain in our joints, in our organs, and that's because we have this negative energy and it has to go somewhere. If it's not released, it will attack your joints and your feet and wherever else, especially your knees, your lower back, your solar plex, and your heart. I know this because it's happened to me many, many times. When you're clearing things, it can come and it can become really hard to handle. In this meditation, I will teach you techniques and meditation to help you clear that putting your hands on your heart when you're feeling that running energy because this is the time that we need to let it all go. So enjoy the meditation. Thank you for coming and we'll see you soon. Everybody just start to breathe. Deep breathe in through your nose, expanding your belly and out through your mouth. Shrinking your belly, feet flat on the floor, palms up to be ready to receive. That tells spirit you're ready. Your palms are down, you're closed. Palms are up, you're open. Time up. So, Just take deep breaths in and out. In. Holding, holding, holding and out. Take a deep breath in. I want you guys to do this breathing while I'm speaking to you. I want you to find a part of your body that has pain. One part, you couldn't move, but where is the pain? This is important. One part of your body spiritual pain. And it can feel very physical. It is physical. So just take a deep breath in. Just acknowledging that you know it is important. Take a deep breath in. Holding. And now. For me right now, it's right here in my heart. Sometimes it's a dull, sometimes it feels like something's grabbing it. Sometimes it feels like it's, you know, tight. Sometimes it feels like it's cracking open. Sometimes it just feels like there's something wrong. And it can be in your chakras, in your elbow, in your wrists in your knees. If you feel it in your knees, it's about change, evolution, what's happening right now, the uncertainties. If your lower back hurts, it could mean you don't feel stable. You're uncertain about money. And that's huge here right now. In this time in our life, is so big and it's so uncertain right now. We don't know every day 
what's happening. So close your eyes, keep them closed if they're not. Take a deep breath in. stomach issues, it's full, if you have fertility issues, it's full, it's about clearing now everything, so all this beauty can come in, all this knowledge, all this knowing can flow through us. So keep your eyes closed and deep breathe. It's almost as the angels are wanting to talk to us. Talk to us, tell us all about everything. We're here. And if you're here, I hope you're ready to listen. And to hear the words deeply in your heart. Let's focus on the higher heart, which has, which has connection attached to your unconscious, your soul, the connection between you and God, you and spirit, cosmos, the whole, almighty, call it as you will. We're all here in the same planet, striving for mostly one thing, universal love, connection with God, something that's higher that we didn't know. Maybe we, we knew in the beginning the existence, but there was a disconnect, but not a high enough connection. Maybe the trust was hurt, taken away. Maybe we needed to protect ourselves at that time. It's a new time, it's a new dawn. We're here now. We're here, we're ready. Lovingly, Spirit is here for us, guiding us, begging us to come back. Take a deep breath. So if there is a space and time There is a joint where space and time can heal on our organ. We 
Put your hands there. And take a deep breath. Fill it with white light. And just tell it it's okay. you to wrap your energy around in a circle. Wrapping around you in a circle that attaches me inside that circle. So we have an inner circle between you and myself and then an outer circle between everybody that you want in the circle. Everybody that is in the circle right now just imagine 20 or 30 people next to you, all in a beautiful circle, here to clear, here to connect. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. Holding ten. And releasing. We're focusing on our bodies. If another spot starts to ache or starts to show that there is something there, go ahead and move your hands. Things move around. energy here is to support you, to clear, you might want to wiggle, shake your hands, roll your shoulders, push them back if it's your heart, you want to crack open your heart, put your shoulder blades in the back, <clears throat> if you need to hop, you can hop, you can stand and hop, be careful with your eyes closed. You can just hop in your chair. You can stretch your hips. Move your knees. Roll your ankles. Stretch out your back. Arching your arm across. There are many books about where the stuck energy is. There's a meaning to it. Louise Hay, um, You Can Heal Yourself by Louise Hay at the Hay House. My first book I ever read about healing and healing myself. I'll never forget that day. I was at an airport flying from place to place. my old business I did many many trade shows and I was always at the airport and a girlfriend of mine named Kim said if you're reading something let it teach you something learn and she got that from Tony Robbins and it clicked when I was passing by a beautiful bookstore And I saw it, Hudson News, and it said, you can heal your life. I said, I need that. 
And then all the way in the back has a has a knowledge of which area and what the issue is. And maybe that's a great book for you guys to start with if you haven't had it. She cured herself four times of cancer. I guess that's the way that she had to process it, learn. I'm not sure her life but we gain cancer. Gain cancer from stresses in our life. We're not releasing them. Tumors don't just show up. We build them. Um, but the one wonderful thing is we can also release them as Louise Hay, Louise Hay showed us in her book, in her biography. Right now it's a very stressful time. That's why we're all here together. Releasing and letting go. Cherishing every moment with the all abundant. Learning to trust even more, surrender even more. Or maybe trust and surrender for the very first time. We're here to grow. Our soul is here to grow, to experience, to explore, to learn and to burn off karma or what we've done in the past. And the process is very simple. It's to release, to reconnect, and to surrender. There are very few things you actually need to do. 80% spirit will do for you 20% you must feel, you must be in, must be a part of this journey. As a teacher, I would never take that journey away from you. It is beautiful. And yes, it can be painful. And yes, it can be hard tear-jerking, struggle. But there is so much. The pot on the other side of the rainbow times a million. The knowing, the courage, the trust, the flowing, the all-abundant being able to flow through you for you and you for others is incredible. This is a new dawn. We cannot carry the past any longer. We cannot carry it. So feel the pain wherever it is in the body. I want you to take three deep breaths in and do a ha breath out loud. We're by ourselves, we can do this. Put our hands in that space. Breathe through that space. You have to imagine if it's your knees, your knees are breathing. This is all done with our imagination. If it's our heart, we're breathing through our hearts. If it's our stomachs, we're breathing through our stomach. And so on. And the ha breath is important. The exhale and releasing, coughing, burping, whatever it takes. Screaming, yelling. 
It's the release that is so needed. We don't want to carry it anymore anyways. So everybody, take a deep breath in, hold for 10. out in that area if you need to do more keep doing it move it around stretch a little bit shake your hands out those that have been here with me since the beginning this is the evolution of the work mastery heart healing is mastering your heart to create space for the all abundant to dwell. like a tunnel inside and each and every one gets to go inside one by one everybody starts to wrap inside the white light filling themselves releasing themselves as you go up surrender surrender Say the words, yes, yes, yes. I surrender. I surrender, I surrender. No longer need these things, this stuff that is stuck within me. It no longer serves me. As you go up, you 
begin to drift up into this space, this white space. There are entities there that might help you pull those out and you need to ask them. Or they might gather you and adjust things for you. Surrender. You may ask them questions if you like. You may give them a comment as if you're surrendering and please to help them. This is not an easy access to receive. Be here in that space right now. So much is being given to you as a gift. Give you the strength, the courage to stay on this path. This is a journey of a lifetime. We're not going to get a certificate at the end. We're going to get ourselves. Our higher selves will be open. Filling us with joy, love, bliss. For those that want to stay in this space, let me drift away. Those that want to start your day, open your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. It's a beautiful journey that we have together. Please pass it around. Let's create a community, opened, ready, surrendering, or wanting to. This quiet space right now is so important. Stay in it. Peace. Namaste.